Today's Toy Spot, look at the size of this box. Today we're having a look at the Kawaii Crush Hyper Happy Mall. You get a whole wall of, a whole mall, a whole mall of splendor and delight. This comes to us from the good folks over at Spin Master. Spin Master. Of the things you can partake in the mall, let's bring these things in together and we can examine them. You can adopt a pet, indicated at the top there. You can try on outfits. You can, you can also smile for a camera, indicated down below as well. Um, it also features a working elevator, as you see right here as well. And turn around the back of the box. On the back of the box, my adorable pets get styled while I visit my stylist at the Fashion Boutique. It's the highlight of my shopping trip. It's a picture-perfect day at the photo booth. Say cheese. Oh no, now I want a cheeseburger. Now I want a cheeseburger. And as you can see, there's some really neat artwork featuring all the characters of Kawaii Crush. Someone's apparently grabbing a bite to eat. Over here, somebody is in the photo booth. Someone down here, way, way down there, someone down there is about to ring through someone's purchases. Could it maybe be this girl right here? This one right here. To check out more, you can go also go to www.kawaiicrush.com. This is more a review for the little ladies out there. The little ladies that have been enjoying things from Kawaii Crush. So what Spot's going to do is he's going to take a break. He's going to get this opened up. You're excited, I know. Going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Kawaii Crush Hyper Happy Mall. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And when you get it all out of the box, you have something that looks like this. Look at this spectacular mall. There's so many things that you can look at. We will get into those little things one at a time. For starters, down way down below, right there, we've got ourselves a small pet shop. Now it looks to me, if Spot's not mistaken, it looks like there's three animals up for adoption, or at least up for purchase. We've got ourselves down below, way, way, way down below. I think he's sleeping. Shh. Oh no, he's not sleeping. No, he's still, he's awake, don't worry. We've got ourselves a little tiny kitten. Look how small this little tiny kitten is. This kitten, if you ask me, I think this kitten needs a home. I would call this kitten Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles, I would call this kitten. He does come out of his little bedding. Looks like his little bedding is made of spaghetti, but it's not. It's probably like a ball of yarn or it's like a little, one of those expensive European beds. There's the little kitten inside. He's got his hands up to his head, think to himself, Hmm, if only I could have a home. Would you like to give me would you like to give me a home? I would, Mr. Bojangles. I really would. I really would, actually. Put him back in his bed. I think if we're quiet enough, he probably will go back to sleep. I'm gonna just put him into his little section right there. You'll also notice, I don't know if you can tell, let me zoom down here. Each of the little animal sections have a corresponding little home. So you'll see that he actually has a little climbing perch. There's a little ball of string right there. Who are these animals? Well, let's get into those guys immediately. We got ourselves a little tiny bird. So small, Spot's large adult hands are having a tough time holding on to him. Oh no, sorry, it's not a bird. What's Spot talking about? That's a rabbit, indicated by the fact that there's ears. Ears. That rabbit would also explain why he's got a little bed or a little house that looks like a carrot. That would make no sense, and I'm sure you guys, you girls out there, are probably thinking Spot's being really silly for even calling it a bird in the first place. I acknowledge that as well. I think the house can fit. Yes, it can fit inside his little home, his little den. Take the little rabbit and put it in. Put him inside there. Maybe he's going to take a nap as well. We'll put him right in there. He also has what looks to be like a little dish, perhaps for his drinks. Water, of course, or carrot juice. 
And lastly, in the little den of animals, little critters, we got ourselves a little dog or sheep. It could be a sheep, although I don't know if you would really want a sheep for a pet. Little tiny animal. You know what? I'm going to just assume that's a sheep. It looks like a sheep. It's cute like a sheep. I'm going to put him up. Although really he comes with a you know, he comes with a fire hydrant, so me thinks that's probably a dog. Little tiny fire hydrant comes with this dog. It's a poodle. That's what it is. Ah, uh, you see spots? Spot's a little slow sometimes, but Spot eventually gets it. Comes with a little fire hydrant, though. I would hope not to use for bathroom use. This would only be a play fire hydrant. Don't get any ideas, little puppy dog. You also get yourself a little brush. For the dog, or really for any of the characters in Kawaii Crush as well. You know what? It's large enough. We'll keep that aside. We'll keep that aside. Having a look at the figurine that comes with it. This is Holly Molly, if I'm not mistaken. Holly Molly. This is her shop, after all, right here. She's got a little clothing shop. And I gotta say, this girl knows how to dress. She knows how to dress. Speaking of dress, one cool thing about the um, Kawaii Crush characters are that you can dress them up. Now, if you look over there, no, 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 no. If you look over there, you can actually take off. I hope you're looking over there. You can take off the dress like so. It's actually just a rubber dress, and it kind of has an opening in the back there. Um, in this form, the dress, well, actually, the figurine actually has a lot of movement. There's a ball joint in the head, which allows the head to move left and right, up and down. Um, no articulation in the arms, but there is a swivel in the waist, like so. She does also have the option to take her shoes off, like currently right now, she's got some really sporting... Let me bring the camera in so you guys can see, as Spot's hands are ginormous, apparently, in this review. She does come with these little tiny sneakers, these little little... Nikes, perhaps, maybe they're Converse, but they slip right into her feet, just like so. That's how shoes work. You just take your foot, slip it inside, boom, just like that, a relationship has formed. You, your, your feet and shoes. You can't take these shoes off and walk with me for a second as we walk over here. She does have several other garments of interest, now, I don't protest to know much about fashion. I really do. But for maybe for other people, might not feel like Spot's got a lot of knack for fashion. But she does have a couple of different garments. I'll just put her down for a second. And let's have a look at the little rack of garments that she comes with. She does come with a hat right there. A little smiley face on the hat. And she does also come with a few hangers. Hmm, what am I going to wear today? She's kind of got a spring dress. Something a little more formal. Both easily come off the hangers. A little slit on the back. And, put that down. She does also come, there's a little mannequin on the side that has another dress. Now, I don't know about you, but I kind of think this dress is a nice dress for her to be wearing. This dress right here. Zoom in. Uh, zoom in. Eh? There we go. I like this one also because there's some animal prints on it. So what we can do, we're going to get her dressed up. I think she's going to get herself a bite to eat, and then she's probably going to be on her way. I'm just going to put the dress on the figure's body, like so. Get it around the arms. There we go. It's just like real life. You can also take the hat off, which currently is a little... I'm gonna, I originally said a little sheep, but we now know it's a dog. Little dog hat. She looks really nice without the hat. She's got this nice purple hair. But she also has this. This says to me style. So I'm gonna actually put it on. On the side, because that says cool to me. You could really put it on in the front like that, like so. Or you could probably put it on the side like that. But you know what? I think, personally, I'm going to put it to the side. 
And finally, she has some shoes. She has extra shoes. She has, I don't know if those would be high tops. They look like high tops. I'm sorry, what? Yes, there is another pair. I'll get into that in a second. You know what? Those actually might even be cowboy boots, which elevates her level of style to at least style 10. Joan Rivers and the fashion police would be definitely very happy with the outfit that she's chosen. I actually chose it. But you have something like that. I think that works well because it goes with her hair. There was also, for the sake of showing you guys, there were these shoes, which I guess these would be closer to platforms. Little smiley faces on the sides, though. Very nice, indeed. Now, I assume she owns this shop, this establishment right here that Spot has made a mess of. Put the mannequin back. We're going to put the hat on, on the mannequin. She has a little mirror in the corner there. A little styling section. You can try on clothes and you can check yourself in the mirror, see if you're all right. She knows she's all right. She doesn't have to do that. Moving the camera along and moving the camera up way at the top, there's an eating establishment as well. If you ask me, this is a happy meal. Look how happy the, this food is. We've got ourselves a little hamburger, like so, right there. We get ourselves a fry. I, I don't know if that's a large fry. It's an out-of-focus fry. There we go. That could be a large fry. It could be a small fry. Maybe it's a medium fry. It's winking. It's like, hey, fry here. Having a good time at my, at my restaurant? Okay, I really don't own the restaurant, but I hope you're having a good time. Fry is leaving. And lastly, it also comes with a little drink, a beverage. It could be a slushy, or maybe just a cola. All the food can go onto the little table, little hamburger table. That almost looks like Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese. Spot, you really shouldn't be mixing fast food companies. There's some chairs, one with the slushy head, one with the fry head. Dollar amounts up at the top if you want to order your food. Looking at this, Spot's really craving a hamburger right now. I know. When isn't Spot craving a hamburger? The answer is never. Spot's always craving hamburgers. In the middle, if I just move the clothing and other, other accessories aside, I'm just going to move these out of the way. In the middle, there is a working elevator. So we can take Holly Molly and just put her up at the top there. I think she's supposed to hold on to this, like so. And you've got her on top of the elevator. On top of the world, right there. You can take the elevator and detach it. There's a little hinge on the side. And this actually, if you follow the camera along, follow it, follow it. There we go. You can actually bring the elevator all the way down. This would be ideal if she's up at the top having a bite to eat. And then she realizes that she's got a, a customer. She quickly can come down, eloquently come down the elevator right over to her cash register. This cash register right here, also with a smiling face. And ring through the purchases that people are now buying from her store. Put that aside. And lastly, for the ladies out there, who doesn't love a photo booth? I know I love photo booths. Right there, right at the very top, there is a photo booth. This, I guess that's Holly Molly, is posing with her dog. For the sake of that, you know what? We'll take Holly Molly off her elevator. We'll put her into the photo booth, like so. Whoops! Got to be, be careful with Holly Molly. There we go. Put her in the photo booth, and so that we can capture the image properly, there is the dog. We're going to put the dog, probably not in her hand. We're just going to put the dog alongside of her. And you can take the curtain here, and you can draw the curtain closed. This would be that so that other people aren't seeing you make silly faces at the camera. You probably make three or four different pictures. One has the duck face, a little pouty face. One has the smiling face. Maybe has the one tongue picture with the tongue sticking out at your friends. You know, you always sneak it at the last minute. You kind of stick your tongue out at your friend. And then when the pictures come out, you kind of go, <laughs> I'm sticking my tongue out at you. And then when you're done, you can open up the curtain once again. I gotta admit, this is a pretty fun activity set. 
obviously it would be more fun, but I'm sure the little girls would certainly enjoy a set like this. These are certainly available also at most retail and toy stores. If you're obviously a fan of Kawhi Crush, which Kawhi Crush is really big right now. I'm surprised my my niece actually is big into Kawhi Crush too. But certainly if you're a big fan of Kawhi Crush, you might want to consider picking this up. This is the Kawhi Crush Hyper Happy Mall. There's a lot of H's there. Hyper Happy Mall. Today's Toy Spot, we're looking at the Kawhi Crush Hyper Happy Mall. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. Certainly stick around. Spot's got more Toy Spots heading your way. I'll see you guys next time. Now, where is that little kitten?